back to this water. So water normally boils at 100. This water is boiling at 100. But this water is boiling at, well, it's at 71 degrees C. This is because, well, what we've done here, we put a lid on this and we've taken some of the air away from this, this space here. So we've reduced the air pressure. And actually, we've reduced the air pressure to the same as it would be on the top of Mount Everest. Now, if you climbed up Mount Everest, you may know that you'd need to have um, oxygen gas if you wanted to do it safely, okay, as safely as you can do it. Um, and this is because the air on the top of Mount Everest is very thin. There's less atmosphere there. It's actually about a third of the pressure as it is um, here in the lecture theatre. Now, why does this affect the boiling point? Well, I need some, I have uh, some specially trained volunteers. They know who they are. If they can come down uh, and get prepared, please. So we're trying to explain, then, why water normally boils at 100 degrees C at normal atmospheric pressure, but only 70 degrees on the top of Mount Everest. Right. Now, then. So I need some water molecules, and they're over there, and some air molecules. These... Balls here represent air molecules, okay? And can I have my water molecules, please? Water, come this way. Okay, here come the specially trained water molecules. And you see they've got lots of energy. And they're bouncing around, as we've seen water does. And they've got quite a bit of energy. And they would like to get apart from each other. But the air is bashing them back. Okay, so the air bashes them back. And this means they can only, that only when they've got enough energy to overcome the air molecules bashing into them, can they boil and turn into gas. And that normally happens at atmospheric pressure at 100 degrees. But if there's less air around, and that's like we have on the top of Mount Everest, then they can boil and they come out and they're boiling now, as you can see, they can escape. And this is because there's only a limited amount of air bashing them back. Okay, they can boil very easily. So as you see, they keep coming this way, don't they? <laughs> Boiling until a little bit of air. So that's it, you see. The lower pressure means they can't fully boil. Thank you very much, air molec air water molecules. <laughs> so, at the reduced air pressure on top of Mount Everest water would only boil at 70 degrees C. This means you can't make a decent cup of tea on the top of Mount Everest. But also, well, can you cook an egg? That's the question. And this is what we're going to try and find out now. Okay? Can you boil an egg on the top of Mount Everest? Now, how are we doing for time? How long have we had so far? Uh, what's that? About four minutes. Okay, we we'll probably need a little bit longer for my hard-boiled egg to cook, so we'll leave that just a little bit longer. Um, we'll look at one of the other properties of water now.